Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll be seeing how to use evaluate measurement process, which is one of the methods to visualize measurement system variation uh, for a particular study uh, when uh, being conducted with uh, measurement system analysis or MSA. So here I have uh, uh, MSA data for film thickness that was measured by uh, three different inspectors and uh, repeat measurements were uh, taken twice by each inspector on 10 different parts and the run order and the inspectors uh, have been randomized uh, if you want to know how this uh, uh, gauge study worksheet was created you can refer my previous video but in this video i'll be showing how to create the uh, emp analysis so to do so uh, you can go to analyze uh, quality and process and then measurement system analysis so here uh, we choose inspector as the X grouping part as the part sample ID film thickness as the Y response and here under MSA method you can choose EMP and then say okay oh by the way so here uh, so basically the EMP analysis gives an average and a range or average and a standard deviation chart uh, for the measured film thicknesses uh, and uh, here you can mention the type of model uh, that has to be used but here you have the option of choosing between range and standard deviation for the time being I'm going to stick to range so here uh, you can see that uh, the average chart and the range chart has been plotted so here from the average chart uh, you can see that uh, most of the points are uh, within the control limits uh, this means that uh, the measurement system is not capable of detecting the difference between the different parts if uh, each of the parts have uh, different film thicknesses in this case they do and this uh, definitely tells that uh, the uh, measurement system is not capable of detecting the difference which is not good and also uh, you can do something else uh, which is called as a parallelism plot uh, so parallelism plot basically tells that uh, for the same part uh, uh, you can see that uh, the measurements don't overlap for different inspectors this means that there is interaction between uh, uh, the measurement system and the inspector or in other words it means that uh, the measurements uh, depend on the uh, inspector uh, who is measuring that and with the part that is being used sorry the uh, measurement system or tool that is being used uh, which is something that has to be minimized 